Hey, welcome to Transform Through Storm Tarot. It's your girl, Storm Journey, and I am here with another new moon energy reading for you all, okay? And the last one we did was on love, okay? And this one is going to be um, on, let's see, what do we want to do this one on? Let's do this one on finances. We might as well do this one on finances, even though we already know this prosperity is coming. So let's just check out what it is that we need to to really do, to focus on what, what spirit has for us when it comes to this money, when it comes to these finances, okay? Uh, we're going to start this reading off with some power animals, okay? And see what the heck they got for us, you know? Um, you know, you know. Let's see. Okay, let's see what's going on with our money, what the universe had, this new moon has for us, okay? Um, it was a beautiful night. Um, I really did not, uh, I set some intentions, you know, um, throughout the course of the day, but I really didn't do any um, rituals like I usually do, uh, which is, is fine, it's no big problem, um, but, you know, uh, I, I just, you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to say that, I guess. <laughs> but, I, I mean, you know, like I said, I set my intentions. So, hey, universe, I'm, I'm a star seed. So, let me, the universe got to take care of me. They got to take care of me. All right, let's see what's going on. What animal, what power animal has some spirit guides for your spiritual life and your spiritual money? Let's check on that spiritual. Ooh. That, that came right out. Let's check on that spirit. We got the ant. The ant will advise you to be patient. So just be patient. Be patient when it comes to this spiritual money, you all. Okay, don't rush the process. Trust the process, right? And we know ants, they all um, kind of work together, right? Um, and so, but they do, they are little and small and move slow. So, yeah, just be patient. Um, and just keep putting the work in, right? Don't stop working. Just be patient. And then we have the dove. So now we have something flying, which is a little faster. Um, but the dove brings peace, okay? Um, which I guess it does, right? Um, it will bring you peace, right, as you wait, right? So relaxing the mind, calming the mind, right? Um, so, yeah, flying, that's air energy. So, yeah, definitely um, coming to peace with the fact that your prosperity is coming. You just have to be patient, period. Yes, because look at this. I mean, you can't see it, but um, this um, dove is looking at this ant work diligently. And now we have the kite the kite will gift you with widening okay so um so now you're you're still in the air right you're still expanding so you're you're widening you're expanding um and you're you're kind of uh taking over more territory here uh, when it comes to uh your increasing income inflow okay um one more and then we'll take the overall energy okay lion you want it to come right out i've seen it the lion will help you to become the king of your life okay so now you're back grounded you're back right so that's amazing right okay so you started off grounded then you took flight right you went into your head um and you kind of stayed up there in a little while after you found peace to to figure out, you know, okay, well, it's coming. So let me kind of figure out, you know, what other ways that I can uh, bring, you know, money in. So, again, finding those other uh, revenue streams or creating those other revenue streams for yourself. And then, right, now you're the lion. Now you're the king of the motherfucking, king of the motherfucking jungle, right? Um, And it's amazing because uh, that's that's just giving me the king of pentacles you know what i mean so um good shit right uh at the bottom of the deck we got the ladybug the ladybug the ladybug will bring you good luck okay so good luck is coming to you at the bottom of the deck that's your overall energy that's why you have to be patient right you have to know that you 
You have good luck coming. You have luck on your side. You have the universe on your side, okay? Like, come on now. Not too many people can say that they got the universe on their side. They got the universe working for them, okay? Um, a lot of people can. It's, 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 a few, it's a few out there, you know, you know. It's, it's a lot of us. But, you know, and it's a lot of us that aren't, you know, it's a lot of us that aren't woke. So, um, just know that you are very lucky at this time. Be patient. Uh, find peace. Peace is, it. peace is coming to you, okay? You you should have peace already. You should have peace once I told you to be patient. Should, once I said the first card, then you should have peace. Period. Right? So, let's see. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use this deck. Um. I don't know if I want to use that deck at all. Nope, I don't, I don't really. Unless magic comes out, um, I'm 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 not feeling any magic. Um, no, I'm not feeling no magic yet. You know, that's just this is all the universe. You, you, I think you've done all the magic already. You know, this is why you have to be patient because you have to allow your magic to manifest. Okay, so that's just what I'm getting. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. Coming out of battle. Okay. You are a devoted warrior of the universe. The universe is telling you as you're being patient um, that, that you need to go to battle. Go to battle. Again, this ant, these ants, they don't stop working, right? These ants, they they always working. And they, they you know, so keep working don't stop right go to battle right um and go to battle for the universe go to battle for the divine right so be be a spiritual warrior be a spiritual warrior so um whatever that means to you whatever your work is um do it and and don't stop right um and, and do it in a spiritual sense right uh fight whatever energies are keeping you stuck right do do the magic work do the spell work do the ritual work do the spiritual work right do what needs to be done right um just just that's all you have to do as you're being patient just continue doing the spiritual work okay this peace that's coming to you this dove what we got we got okay you can find this in your circle okay um your your the dove will bring you peace through through others okay through your soul tribe okay um so yeah that'll help you that'll enrich your life it'll help you to again just find other ways to co-create um we have god with the the kite will gift you with um with widening so this kite is coming out as god okay um and, and this this kite again in order for you to widen in order for you to spread these wings uh there there has to be some type of weight lifted off of your shoulders okay um some type of weight just that's weighing you down right and so spirit is here okay to remove that to remove whatever it is keeping you stuck whatever burden you're facing at this time the divine is here so that you can take over again more territory so that you can cover more land so that you can widen and, and expand okay so that's great energy that's amazing I, I mean, it's amazing whenever God shows up, <laughs> you know, like, literally, the the lion um, is here because, again, you, you're doing this reflecting, okay, you're allowing yourself to accept yourself, your your finances, your, your career, whatever it is, um, and, and love it all at the same time, okay, you're loving all of yourself, okay, you're loving all of what it is that you're creating for yourself, okay, you're putting your all into what it is that you're creating yourself, you're reflecting your all into 
into what it is that you're creating for yourself, okay? And again, this is allowing you to rise, okay? And and, and this luck that you have, okay, it is allowing you to step out of the ashes. You're coming out of the ashes, sweetie, okay? You're rising like the golden sun, like the star that you are, okay? And, and so you're rising in fame. You're rising in your business. You're rising to your to your destiny, okay? Um, with this luck, with this luck, it's your time. It's just your time. So, yes, accept it. All right, we're gonna go one more level in, and then pull tarot and take the tarot over to the Patreon. Okay. So, if this reading is resonating with you currently, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, if you're rocking with me, you know, I appreciate it, you know. <laughs> so, let's see. Last row for my collector. <sighs> okay. Coming from a place of... I'm, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to shuffle. Spirit, thank you. Just let me let me do this because... Let me do this. Thank you, Spirit, for letting me do this. <laughs> I got to get permission. That's my top shit. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. One more shuffle, they said, because I wanted to do this. All right. There you go. Right there. That's it. This battle, okay? Um, Again, you being this spiritual warrior okay um this devoted warrior of the divine of the universe of god okay because god is showing up for you because for uh, you doing god's work okay um you being patient and doing god's work is what's bringing in your manifestations okay period i can't make it up that's what card you got you got motherfucking manifestation and the crazy part is y'all i am going to tell you that the battle cards are warrior card herself is the number six so you are this literal master manifester okay you literally what it is that you doing for the divine for the universe is ultimately manifesting your abundance and your 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 reality your your future your your everything <laughs> whatever it is you want you you gonna get it i feel okay so um period period poo all right, let's go to the next one, y'all. I, I mean, it just is what it is. And the number nine is success. The number nine is success. And like I said in the last reading, I don't know if I said it in the last reading or not, but it could have been a reading before. And, and the thing is, um, y'all might hear me talk about readings that haven't even been posted yet. I'm sorry about that. Just forgive me. Uh, I'll just be talking. Um, but the number six and the number nine are two of the most powerful numbers in the universe. So you, you're coming up very powerful. You have to be very powerful in order for God himself or herself, uh, take it how you resonate, uh, will show up for you. Okay. Um, with this, uh, this, this piece that you're getting, right. Um, and, and your, your circle, your, your trust soul tribe um is going to help you to create and that's amazing because the the star temple circle card is the number 28 okay that breaks down to the number 10 so this is telling me that you have one you're ending cycles here with one type of friendship one type of circle of people one type of um not only circle of people but people that uh you are working with right um okay right um or, or, or again, this is the one, this is the circle that you're leaving, okay? Um, you're, you're finding peace with having to leave one circle because that card is called the Seven Sisters, okay? Sisterhood enriches my life, okay? But now I'm seeing here clarifying that is the number 12, which is all about manifestation, 
and it's called Seven Sisters. And it's all about creativity, okay? This is the creativity card. So the new set of people that you're going to be around, right, are going to help you to create. And it's going to bring peace into you, into your mind, into your world, into your business, okay, into your finances, okay? Because um, what you were doing in the circle that you were once uh, with, it wasn't enriching your life, okay? So now spirit is providing you with another set of seven sisters. Come on. That is going to help you with your creativity. Okay. That is going to help you again bring in these manifestations. Okay. And so now we finally have the number three on the board. Even though it's the number 12, honey, I don't care. It breaks down to a three. All right. It is what it is. We got three, six, nine on the board. Do some manifestation. Do some manifestation. Okay, today the energies of this new moon is still here. So do however you manifest. Spirit is saying manifest. Okay, um, spirit is saying that the kite will gift you with the ability to widen and to expand and to grow because God is literally lifting your burdens from you. Okay, because you have the good juju, you have the juice that the divine is looking for okay we already see that you are this devoted warrior of the universe of the divine okay so because you're putting out this devotion because you're putting out this spiritual work okay um that's that's good juju to the divine that's why the divine showing up because you got the sauce baby you got what it takes Okay, to to create, to to bring forth uh, miracles. Okay, the number seven represents miracles. Okay, so mm, good shit. Um, let's do reflect. Why is this mirror here? Why is this mirror here? You have mask. Okay, so that's good. The masks are coming off. Okay, um, this mirror is here. You're becoming the king of your jungle, the king of your life, um, because you've done the reflection so that now you will be able to see these masks from a mile away, okay, when they come to you. Because again, you in this king of pentacles energy. You got the good juju. The divine is allowing you to take your business, to take whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that you're putting out there into the universe and to expand and to receive uh, a lot of abundance of for it um, a lot of miracles are going to happen for you in regards to the work that you're doing right and so now people are going to want to come to you and you're going to be able to baby you're going to be able to tell them as a mile away you're going to be able to tell them a mile away and at the bottom of the day uh, you're going to be able to feel safe at the end of the day right at the end of the day with this luck card with right that's what it's all about you be being protected you being okay the divine has you you you're rising like a phoenix okay you're coming out of the ashes okay and the divine wants you to know that in this garden in this abundant garden in this secret garden where you're going to be grounding yourself where you're going to be just really uh basking in, in the divine's energy just really serving the lord okay serving the divine you are going to be able to feel safe the divine is you have all the protection that you need around you okay period that's it that, that that's really it okay so i'm going to pull the card for the um for the collectives um extended and then we are going to close the reading out and so i'm going to use the new world the next world tarot deck um for the uh extended so let's see what wants to come out for my collective in regards to their finances okay what is it that spirit it is saying that you need or uh what is, what what can we expect what are these blessings let's see what what is this manifestation okay um and, and so yeah let's see what's coming um we have first card out the empress next card out 
the messenger, which in the traditional tarot represents the hierophant. We have the king of swords. And last but not least, we have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. We have the Three of Wands, okay? So, yes, if you like to dive into the extended and see exactly what these manifestations are, then you can go ahead and tap the link below. Uh, select one of the tiers uh, for a donation, and I'll see you over there.